Do they want to cast a larger net uh, to get a larger pool of recruits for one, change the narrative for another about policing? Not an easy thing to do because lately there are fewer recruits, more retirements, and a diminishing interest in policing as a career. Cincinnati police are racing to catch up, but numerically they're running well behind. They're authorized for 1,059 sworn officers. This year they'll drop to 957. The projection for 2029 is 894. They may be racing, but it's much like running in place on a treadmill. We have to actively make sure that we're providing the resources necessary to hire classes of 60 or more. So those are things we have to stay on that treadmill. We got to stay on that treadmill till we catch up, John, to be quite honest. Here's the telling graph that led to this point. No recruit classes were scheduled from 2009 to 2013. Another summer of neighborhood hotspot focus is coming up. Another round of police overtime. Lawmaker Liz Keating expressed concern about morale. They are overworked and exhausted, and this is a very, very tough time right now. The chief will reallocate assignments in order to shore up depleted street patrols. She acknowledges it's a sword with two edges. It will help the officers in patrol. They need the help. That's where we're losing most of the bodies is in patrol. Um, but it might have a negative impact. Officers are in preferred assignments because they might lose their assignment. Um, and so some of them might re choose to retire just because of that. The chief emphasized today she would not lower standards just to get higher numbers. Here's a tough question and the, the elephant in the room. Where are we ranking in the state of Ohio when it comes to pay? Police administrators haven't done that comparison, saying they'll have it ready for next year's negotiations with the police union. However, the FOP says it has run the numbers and that although Cincinnati's ahead of Cleveland, in the words of its president, Sergeant Dan Hills, we're getting smoked by Columbus. Whoever succeeds Hills when Hills retires at the end of the year will have that comparison, no doubt, at the bargaining table for those negotiations. Live at District 1, John London, WLWT News.